Tony? Yeah, fine. Good. Just reading my script. <laughs> <laughs> um, start off before the weekend games, how's the, how's the squad looking? Um, yeah, we've got one or two little knocks and one or two little niggles, so um, that'll be decided today. You know, usually you want to go into Fridays knowing exactly where you are. We've got one or, one or two little um, bruises um, so and little um, muscular strains that um, we'll have a good look tomorrow. I take it you're probably not going to tell me who. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> I, I don't think they're major. I think we can get over them, but you know, it's just determining how how bad they are after today's training, really. When you look at the match this weekend, I might be wrong, but I think I heard this on the radio this morning that apparently you haven't won at home since sort of the the end of last year. Is that is that becoming a bit of a concern for you? Um, I think the performances have been good. I, I, I don't think anybody can complain about the performances, but we have to win games, and to win games you have to score goals. And I think the biggest issue with us has been scoring goals. Um, I don't, you know, the last home game against Sheffield Wednesday, what was it, 26, 27 shots, and you know when you when you're doing that, more corners or double the corners, double the crosses. When you're doing that to a team, you expect to score goals. And I think the one, the one major issue with the team and with the group at the moment um, has been nothing but the fact that we've not taken chances and they've not been difficult chances at times either. No, it, it's interesting you say that because you sort of is it is it just a a, a bit of a blip? Do you think? Because actually, well, it hasn't. It, I don't think it's a blip because it's been going on for a while. So you know, I, you know, we ju we just need. We need a break as much as anything else. I think we need, um, you know, something to go for us. You know, even last week, uh, you know, the decision with guest dead has been overturned. If you look at the incident, the lad plays the ball. He doesn't go over the ball. He doesn't go around to the around the side of the ball. He actually plays the ball, and it was Hanley coming into the player that made Hanley fall over the net, and more than anything else. And and you know those those things are not going for us, and that that happens sometimes. Um, and you have to uh, you have to take her on the chin and get on with it. Um, in front of goal, we've had the opportunities, we've had the chances, and we have to take those opportunities and chances. I've been pleased with the back four. I think the midfield have been creative enough. Um, you know, it's just been that final third, the entries and the, the, the finishing of our players, and that that is from set plays as well as free play. I know um, I read something. I think it was after the, the Brighton game that you said you were sort of hoping, or you needed your strikers to, to come to the party. Um, have you done anything different with them in training? Have you given them, you know, extra extra drills or anything like that? No, they've worked out. Everybody's worked. It's a good group. They've, everybody's worked out. Everybody's, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm a great believer in, in you know, the, the confidence, you know, get, players gaining confidence. And I think with strikers more than anything else, putting the ball back in the back of the net is the, is the biggest influx of confidence a player can have, especially forwards. So, you know, every game we're playing, I'm hoping and praying that one of them will score or two of them will score and then that'll give them the lift to go on and hopefully go on a run of, uh, of games where they will, um, they will score goals for us. It, I was going to say, because it, it's not like your, your, your strikers are sort of inexperienced, you've got some real pedigree there, you know, sort of Son Belonga, um, Bamford, you know, these are people who can score goals at this Guess level. Guest has scored yeah. at, at, at this level. So, no, we've got... Um, you know, we've got players who've got the, uh, like you say, the record that shows that they can score goals at this level. Um, what we need them to do now is start doing it for us. Yeah. Do you think that's that's the missing link? Everything else is there. You know, you, you've got a, a good team. Upwardly mobile, oh. it's just the, the goal scoring. I think if you look at everything, yeah, I think I think we've played well enough, whether it's been home or away, to get results, to get wins, and um, you know, we've shot ourselves in the foot really. Um, and we've had one or two very, very bad decisions from the officials over those over that period as well that, that has affected the result. And that's the worst thing you can have as a manager is when an outside influence actually affects the result of a game. And um, we've seen that happen twice now in the few games I've been here. Um, and that uh, you hope and pray that doesn't go on too much and too long. You know. Obviously looked at Reading this weekend's opponents. Are you a little bit surprised at the sort of season they've had? Given you know, the yeah, they, they, yeah. I think they're a little bit similar to ourselves, really. They've got the players there. The players, you know, they've got some good players. I don't think they've changed too much in respect to the team that took them to the playoffs last year. So it is a bit of a surprise. Um, we're expecting a tough game. I, 
you know, this league is every week you turn up, it's a tough game. Um, so we're expecting a tough game. We won't take Reading lightly. Um, and, uh, you know, we, as I've said, we're just open and praying we can create the opportunities and this time take the chances. That's the big thing this Saturday. I know, obviously, it's sort of the, the old cliche of you, you need the fans to stay with you. I'm, I, I know for a fact they, they will be behind the team. If, if that, you know, if, if that happens this weekend and, and the, the strikers start scoring, everything looks positive, doesn't <coughs> it? Now, support has been fantastic, especially you know the away support has been you know exceptional. Um, but you know the supporters have been with us and stayed with us ever since I come through the, fo the door of the football club. What we've got to do, we've got to reward them by getting getting results. And like I say, you know we we you know we have to score goals. We have to take the chances we're creating. Do, do you do you feel? Sort of any any pressure from the fact that you've come in, you know, you've been you've been brought in obviously to try and get the get the club up, and at the minute, you know, little things are, are just sort of going against you. No, there's a, there's a short, there's, obviously there's a short term aim, um, and a long term vision, and um, you know that's what we talked about when I came up to the football club. There's lots of things that I'll, you know that I want to do at the football club. Lots of things that need to be done at this football club, um, but you can't rush everything in. In a couple of weeks, irrespective of what uh, you know, the media expect, the papers, the outlets, or whatever, who always expect instant uh, results. It takes time to put something together, um, and that's always been the case. Um, but it's you know the, the the dressing room is positive, the players are positive, they work hard. Um, like I say, we could do with a couple of breaks. Yeah, it's, it's that old adage: the room wasn't built in a day. Yeah. Um, just last one this weekend. Special shirts. The, the sponsor has sort of given up the space, and, and you know a, a local sort of um, Teesside charity will benefit from that. Yes, yeah, is, is it Butterworth and Teesside Hospices? I think it's uh, Butterwick. Butterwick. Butterwick yeah. So, which is f fantastic, and, and we ask, or oh, we thank our main sponsors for allowing them to uh, Ramsden's to take the uh, take the shirt and and show off the the hospices. You know, I, I actually have got my own. Hospice down south that I, I really work hard for. They're wonderful, wonderful um, institutions, um, and anything that we can do to help them, especially in the local area, um, this football club should do their damnedest to, to be able to do that. So it will really give them a boost, won't it? You know, to see their, their, their sort of name on the shirt. And... <laughs> Yeah, what gives them a boost is is people like ourselves, you know, doing things like this and, and, and helping them with the finances to run. Because most of these hospices actually run off, you know, the, the, the goodwill of the people who work um, week in, week out. And their, their courses are, are unbelievable and absolutely fantastic. What they do, the people who work in these hospices are, ju are just saints, really. Um, and they look after the people who are not as fortunate as what me and you are. Thanks, Tony.